so i've i've upgraded her a little bit because obviously my first five star i wanted to muck around a little bit with maxed her weapon out i've also made it rank two i don't i don't know what we're gonna call that cb so cr for the character and cb for weapon interesting but either way i sent it at once played around with her kit obviously the car is now the main thing i leveled it a little bit to have a play you know nothing too crazy but let's keep working on this scar mission because i feel like we're in the middle of a, of a major moment so The lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. Except the one little black lamb. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. Rover, do you think someone would give you what you want without taking anything from you? <laughs> His voice is so good, he can read me bedtime stories every I day. I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I could get my desired outcome. But true equality is scarce. Always has been. The world was never a fair place. Wouldn't you agree? To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more and more when every wish comes with a hefty price people weigh their options carefully but when they can make someone else bear the price they all rush to make more wishes they don't consider they too may one day pay for another's selfish desire funny isn't it i'm, uh, I'm not laughing Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual, but the black lamb was nowhere to be found. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village, one that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Suddenly, the once doting god stopped fulfilling wishes because no more sacrifices were being made. After witnessing the Black Lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the White Lambs did? Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Well done. You didn't let any details slip. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? Mm. Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Okay. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? Indeed, the direct culprit was the shepherd. He held all the power fulfilling wishes at a price. The lambs knew the risks, yet succumbed to temptation. Unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, they disregarded all the hidden risks, as disaster had yet to befall them. If they were given another chance, I believe they would still choose the same path. Inevitably, they accepted their fate and paid the price when their time came. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Of course, as always, life was the most valuable thing they had to offer. 
Here's my final question. What happened to the Black Lamb? Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush, Rover. Take your time. What is the truth you've uncovered? The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock never found out about it. They were deceived to believe the black lamb was the culprit. Almost there, Rover. Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. The black lamb refused and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. shepherd's greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes of past sacrifices littering the ground. Jeebus, a bit of a dark story. How do you like my story, Rover? What really happened here? I suppose you already have it figured out? The black lamb who rebelled against the rules, and the white lambs who succumbed to their greed. The innocent maiden sacrificed, and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. Ugh. All the shepherd you can had hear to do him was grinning execute while he's the talking. rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. Fun answer, but no. Not even close. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I, we are the black lamb. The one who breaks the rules. <laughs> Interesting, oh, such a Rover. Good laugh. Oh. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. <laughs> <laughs>
Well then, let's see if this black lamb is going to end up like you say. Ah, oh, shit. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Oh, you found us already. Shake and shiver, blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes past by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Who's the sweetest one ahead? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Uh-uh-uh. Don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. my blade. Such speed! Such brutality! <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred spirits after all! <laughs> Don't be so... Tell me, do you want to be the rule-setting shepherd? Or the rule breaking black lab. If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason? Or the sole apostle? Think about it. The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the black lab is of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors! No mercy. Banish all vice. Rover! Ugh, such a pest. Mm -hmm. I guess that was too easy. That was too easy. I did hear Yang Yang though. I did hear Yang Yang a little bit there. Rover? Rover? Hello. I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from her! Oh, hello. Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No <laughs> worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange, or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again in the not-too-distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? No. Oh. Don't worry, I'm okay. Scott.
Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. Teleportation? He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be? Yes, that is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before, let's talk about it later. Rover. Can you fill me in on what happened? Sure. It seems all the tragedies in Tichi Village were linked to that ritual. Making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. Yeah. Nope. Clearly it's over that way. Hmm. What's the matter? Somebody was watching us. <gasps> because that was a snowflake. Did you guys say it? Frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. Who was it? Ah, yes. Oh. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Rover. Do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes, as I thought. I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. Climbing up walls and everything like that is ridiculous and I love it. There is so much to explore out here, holy. It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. I like that I don't have to pick stuff up, it just picks up itself. To go down there, but I oh, see training dummies. <laughs> mm. What's it going to be this time? See, that was worth it. Stuff everywhere. I get distracted for hours on this game. I can't believe it. 
There is such a big opening down here. How odd. This place should have been soaked in water, oh, but everything is dry here. Did we add here. it to this episode? Even the vegetation is thriving. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Did Scar do this? Given his powers, it doesn't seem too hard. I don't know what we're fighting here or who it is, but... That tree. It's stunning. It's almost eerily enchanting. Please... Are you trying to tell us about something hidden here? Never mind. I thought it was about to be a boss battle. Where did it go? Doesn't sound great. That girl just wanted those sacrifices, didn't we? I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? I'll give you a hug. Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope was what was the diary's owner longing for. Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end? My apologies. I got lost in- I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again, but I still lack the confidence. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become some- I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Really? Yep, and I'm with you. Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Yes, let's go back. Oh, got to level up to do the next major quest. That's good. Sort of hit the first milestone. What, what have we? What have we got? Oh, this, okay. Yep. Well, this is good. Like, we don't... We've unlocked a bit of everything now, so... Shepherd game. Head to the theater. Oh, there's so much happening up here. Okay. Oh, it's a pioneer podcast. Okay. Oh, so this is a battle pass. Right. Okay. Lots and lots happening.
So what is it that you get? Like, it's not a heap of wishes, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. I'm guessing the weapon's probably one of the more unique things. Character? What have we got in character? Rover. Ah, oh, we got our first one of these. Got you. Okay. So now I get to run around doing missions for a while. That's cool. Diary was a major thing. Three, we're at five, so we want to keep saving for that. And we're at four for this, so, you know. All right, well, let's wrap it up for that one. Obviously, in the next couple of episodes, it's going to be me pushing for levels and, and whatnot, which is exciting. Thanks again for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Hope you're all enjoying Weathering Waves as much as I am. And if you're only watching this because you're not playing Weathering Waves, I hope you're enjoying the story. Let me know if there's anything you want me to change about it. Until next time, bye-bye.